Hi there, everyone. I hope we're all staying safe and doing well to curb the pandemic through our own subtle means. Cool. Well, if you're a huge fan and you're looking for an affordable power cut to purchase, then you won't miss this at all. There's been this silent battle between two German brands in the auto market. Both of them believe they each deserve the title beast of the road. And so I've brought this case to you, my jury, and I ask you to please be my judge. I chose to go a few years back regarding these models so as to allow you to see and feel the progress and improvements in subsequent models. So I'll be talking about a few of these features to enable you to make a choice. Well, to open this, first off, we have the BMW 330i. It's a four-door sedan and it seats five people. It's one of the F30 LCI range of cars from BMW and its design is a tad bit boring, you know? Uh, it has a bit of improvement but still has that firm BMW look. The LED headlamps also add to the boldness of this 330i. Now, the interior appears to be cold, you know, firm, bossy, <laughs> boring, but expensive and it has less noise reduction performance than the C300. In this model, an infotainment system was also included. It has better touch controls, sensitivity from the sensors that were included that allow for flexibility and less training while driving. It is rather smartly equipped and it hits this very sweet spot for luxury performance, efficiency and all, all the rest. Now the engine is powered by a 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder rated at 252 horsepower and 350 nanometers in torque. It displays longitudinally. Now each cylinder possesses 4 valves. It features direct fuel injection and it is more economical in use of petrol. It uses a six-speed manual transmission, can you believe that? And the single suspension systems hold up the 330i rear and front wheels, although it allows for only RWD, aka rear wheel drive. The 330 accelerates from 0 to 100 km per hour in 5.8 seconds, can you believe that? It is really swift while accelerating, but the C300 is a tad bit faster but the beamer obviously exerts more engine power now the beamer has a very small rack and pinion steering wheel which makes driving easy and not as tasking now despite its 2045 kg weight it's a really heavy car this car tips neatly through corners with little or no body roll at all it has perfect balance and this feature is found lacking in the c300 this car loses composure though when the ride gets bumpy nigerian road typical in this case, the C300 has an edge over the 330i. The cost of a brand new model of this power car is slightly on the high side, but the used models cost a lot less expensive and they are available for sale worldwide. Now we move to the Mercedes-Benz. It's also a four-door sedan and it seats five people too. It possesses this very classy yet fair Mercedes-Benz look, different from the old look. This model has taken the new look of the regular E-Class, so it's slightly smaller than the E-Class but it's a lot bigger than the previous E-Class. The headlamps too are major key, they're really nice, you know, and then this E-Class now has a very very powerful cabin, you know, it speaks nothing but absolute beauty, class, style, <laughs> beginning with the top notch leather of the car seats, the designs of the dashboard and controls as well as other parts. But you see, like upon inspection, uh, the C300, while beautiful, had some less expensive materials, but that's no problem. The cabin was built to be quieter, you know, keep exterior noise out and interior noise in, which is super great. The infotainment system was also included in this model, including super features like a rear camera, you know, and other stuff. This system, though, appears to be quite tasking to use, especially when someone is driving, you know. Sensitivity controls and touch pad sensors aren't as strong as that of the BMW 330i, but they're still okay. Mercedes also introduced sensors which enabled this car to determine the current state of the driver. So if you're sleeping, your car knows. That's really cool, huh? It's powered by a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder engine rated at 241 horsepower and 273 pound-feet in torque. It is placed longitudinally too with each of these cylinders containing four valves, like the other one. It features direct fuel injection too and has less fuel consumption. It is a 7-speed automatic transmission gear, unlike the 330i with 6. It has 
four link suspension systems to front and rear just like the bmw but this one allows for all wheel drive crazy huh tc300 accelerates from 0 to 60 kilometers per hour in 6.4 seconds uh, although the acceleration is lower the c300 moves more sweetly than the 330i it has a relatively small rack and pinion electric steering wheel which still feels normal when you're driving but the c300 is a lot more fun and comfortable to drive the car is a bit strength and balance despite its 1699 kilogram weight crazy this car however doesn't do too well with the handling especially at bends and on rough roads where it tends to be jittery brittle with, you know well the tires consist of a 19 inch wheel with 17 inch of alloy all season rubber ring crazy hmm. the cost of a brand new model of this power car is slightly you know lesser than the 330i and both old and new models are available for sale worldwide Having told you all of this, I bet you think that this battle is too tough and tight. But like I said earlier, please be my jury. Let's determine which of these two deserve the title Beast of the Road. So please leave your reviews in the comment section. I can't wait to interact with you and hear what you have to say. Don't forget to follow, like or subscribe. Please do well to keep up with your proper hygiene and avoid false information in circulation. Let's stay safe everyone.